Bonjour! Welcome to another episode of Cuisine de Michel. I am Michel. So today I'm going to be trying a recipe that I have not made before. This is from kingarthurflower.com and these are called Magic in the Middles cookies. So these are like a peanut butter middle with a cocoa outside cookie. I'm excited to try them because I'm doing this for National Peanut Butter Cookie Day. So let's celebrate together. Starting out with, here in the bowl, this is just a medium sized bowl, I'm going to be whisking together some ingredients that I've already laid out. In the bowl already is unbleached flour. We have 180 grams of unbleached flour. To that, I'm going to be adding one half cup of unsweetened cocoa. And it says you can use either Dutch process or natural. I don't even know which one this one is. It's just what I had in my cabinet. And to that, we will add one half teaspoon of baking soda and one quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'll just whisk those together here in the bowl until they look like they are well combined. Kind of a uniform color there. Okay, so over here in my mixing bowl for my electric mixer, I've got a stick of butter. So that's eight tablespoons or half cup of butter. To that, I'm going to be adding a half cup of regular sugar. And this is actually a half cup packed of dark brown sugar. I broke it up here in this bowl because uh, my brown sugar is starting to get a little bit gluey. So I like to put it in a bowl like that instead of leaving it packed in the measuring cup. And then we need one quarter cup of smooth peanut butter. We are now going to just beat all of these together until they're well combined and fluffy. Okay, so now that I have, you can see it's kind of gotten light and fluffy in there, we're gonna be adding in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one large egg. Again, we're going to set this to beat and combine. So now that I have blended in those ingredients, we're going to be adding the dries in here. I typically stir in my dries just a little at a time. It does say stir in, so that's why I opted to stop using the mixer. So after much stirring, and yeah, it's a little bit of arm exercise, this is what your uh, chocolate part of the dough should look like. And then separately, in a different bowl, we're gonna be stirring together what's gonna to be the surprise part in the middle, or the magic, if you will. Uh, this is three quarters cup of, it says you can use smooth or chunky peanut butter, I use smooth, and then three quarters cup of confectioner sugar. So it just says to stir those together. All right, so I actually ended up having to push this together with my fingers. It is very hard to stir at the end with uh, just a spoon. And what it says to do next is to uh, form this into 26 one inch balls. So since it wants a fairly regular size here, I'm gonna try just dividing it into halves and halves so that I get kind of an idea of exactly how much they want here because even to put this into fourths, it's already going to be a small amount of dough for each one like that. I'm thinking these are going to be smaller than one inch balls because this does not kind of form that many. 
Okay, so excuse my dirty fingers, but uh, my hands are gonna stay dirty this entire time. I've been rolling out the dough. Uh, after doing the peanut butter balls themselves, I actually ended up with 25 instead of 26, uh, just because. <laughs> so I made 25 uh, of the chocolate dough. You wanna roll that into 25 balls that are about this size. So you can kind of say, it says the size of a walnut. I don't like that comparison because walnuts are not like equally sized, but approximately like that. If you wanna kind of hold it like that, I'll just try to give you an idea of how big that is. Now what we're supposed to do is to make an indentation into the center. Take one of our peanut butter ball pieces and put that in there so that we can cover the peanut butter part with the chocolate part. I'm trying to see if that's going to cover really well. I think I'm going to press the next one. This is the first time I've tried this, so I think I'm going to make a little bit bigger indentation on the next one. So close up my ball really good. Once you have the ball enclosed with the peanut butter inside, then you're gonna, I didn't measure out, it doesn't say a measurement, just get yourself some granulated sugar. And then you're gonna roll that around in there to coat it. And since these are fairly large cookies, after you place them on the cookie sheet, you're gonna make sure you have like about two inches in between. Uh, it says you can either do it as a parchment lined cookie sheet or you can lightly grease your cookie sheet, and I would say definitely don't go overboard with that or your cookies will have an extra spread to them. I prefer parchment though. And these are gonna bake in the oven at 375 degrees. <laughs> Since this takes a little bit on the time process, you've got some time to assemble these, so you don't need to really heat your oven up super far in advance. So that's why I'm telling you now, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, they're going to bake, it says, for about seven to nine minutes. So we'll see how those are. Okay, so after you have them all on here, you're supposed to take a drinking glass and uh, you're supposed to grease it a little bit and then uh, dip it in the sugar and you're supposed to flatten these until they're about a half inch thick before putting them in the oven. Pretty good day. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the oven. I went the full nine minutes because I wanted to make sure they were actually done. It says they're supposed to start smelling of chocolate. Well, they do. So anyway, I'm gonna let them sit on the cookie sheet for just a moment, and then I'm gonna transfer them to a wire rack, and then we will see you at final plating. All right, so here we are at final plating. I have to tell you, we tried these and they are delicious. If you love peanut butter and chocolate, these are awesome, awesome cookies to have. The middle part of them is very soft. Uh, it's got the peanut butter. I'll break one open here so that you can see what they look like inside. Oh, look at that. Does that not just tempt you to make them right now? I hope it does because I hope that you will leave a comment for me to tell me if you do try these. But also, thank you for joining me for another episode of Cheesy the Michelle. Please be sure to like this video and share it with your friends. Most importantly, subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm trying to work on my subscriber count so that we can hopefully uh, start getting paid for this channel and actually, uh, you know, buy better equipment and things like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, please subscribe and again, feel free to make a comment and we will see you next time. Au revoir.